Welcome to Excel Table Talk, our monthly show for the Excel community. This month, I have Sangeeta on the show. Welcome. Yes, thank you. Thanks for being here. Before we dive in, I wanted to quickly highlight the community and, and just show what we have here. As usual, please go to office.com slash Excel slash community. And we have this nice environment where you can ask any questions, talk to Sangeeta, talk to any other uh, PM on the Excel team, ask us questions. You can see we have areas for charting, sharing, publishing, uh, things like that. This is also where you find Excel Table Talk. It's embedded right here uh, on the page. Every month, I also highlight a community member. And this month, I like to highlight one of our MVPs, uh, Murat. Murat has been very active in the community. It's great to see he's here. He's answering questions from people. And I just want to say thank you for joining the community and thank you for being an MVP. With that, Sangeeta, can you tell a little bit about yourself, who you are, what do you do? Yeah, hi everyone. I'm Sangeeta Mudnal. I'm a PM manager in the Excel team and I work on customer love initiatives. And that's really exciting, especially when it comes to Excel customers. So my team works with the Excel engineering team and, and we work with our customers and connect with our customers and partners in fundamentally different ways. And so I'm really excited to be here on Table Talk today and also in the community to share some quick tips and tricks that can help you get really more productive and more efficient with Excel. Yeah. And you, your team is, it looks after a user voice, the community is included yeah. in there, all those type of things. Do you have something really cool you'd like to share with us today and show us? Today I'll show you a quick tour of the tips and tricks in Excel. And you can get to this template by clicking File, New, and you have a Take a Tour or Welcome to Excel template. And this is new, right? So for those people that already clicked on, on the new files, they've always seen the Take a Tour, right. but we just recently updated it. So yes. if you download it now, we actually get a completely new file. Yep. So it's available to all the 2013 and 2016 customers in English markets, but we are expanding to international markets and other platforms very quickly. Yeah. So one of the things while we were building this template, we were very cognizant about was what are the top customer queries coming in through our support pages, through our help pane queries. So we can actually build this template based on what our customers need. So this is really a template based entirely on customer feedback. So let's get started. As you can see, there is uh, uh, all these sheet tabs here. Each uh, sheet tab is uh, dedicated to one of the features. We start out with very simple features like add fill. I'll talk quickly about transpose. So one of the things that we hear from our customers is, how do I rotate cells? How do I rotate columns or rows? Um, and that's where you use transpose. So for example, if you have this sample data set, you select it and you copy it. And then uh, you go to the paste special here and then click transpose. And there you see the yeah. data has been transposed uh, from one format to another. Uh, but not always you want to copy and paste. And so sometimes you can just use the transpose formula. And a lot of that detail is in the template. Yeah, so if you scroll down, so the tip is right on the top. But if you scroll down, there's actually more advanced tips right in the bottom of, of that sheet. Yeah, exactly. Moving on, sort and filter. So we hear a lot from customers on how to sort and filter, even though it's very simple, but we hear a lot from customers. So for example, you have a, another data set here, and you click on the department column, then you go to sort and filter, and you click sort A to Z. And there you see the, the department column has been sorted. The next column is category, and say suppose you want to sort on category column as well. So you go again, go sort and filter, and do custom sort, and add level, and then you pick category, and equal values equal order A to Z, and then click OK. And then you can see the category column has also been sorted uh, at the second level, and the first level being the department column level. Nice, yeah. And then uh, if you want to filter your data, go back to sort and filter, click filter, and you'll see these filter buttons out here. And, uh, and you select bakery, and there you go. You can uh, filter the data and get uh, the insights that you want. Very cool. Moving on, next is the tables feature. Uh, so tables gives you a lot of special features and benefits. Uh, and we want more of our customers to use tables. So for example, many times you have this kind of a data set. And all you have to do is select the data set, go to insert, go to table and click OK. Um, and then very quickly, you'll see these banded rows, which help for easier reading. You have filter buttons already. Mm -hmm. uh, and then if you add more rows, you can see 
that it gets formatted nicely uh, compared to other, other rows. You can also drag this handle here and add more columns. And you can see, again, the formatting is persisted, uh, and it also fills in the table headers. A lot of people thought like tables, when we have that button there, is just for layout. But it's, it actually, there's a lot of capability behind it that you get by making something a table. You can use that data yes. way better in Excel. Absolutely. So with that in mind, the other functionality that you get uh, with tables is calculated columns. So for example, if you want to do total, and if you just press Alt equals, you get this sum formula. You just hit Enter. And then not only for that row, but it fills in the sum formula for the rest of the rows. So these are some of the benefits of tables, and you can read more in the uh, links below. Nice. The next one is drop downs. So drop down lists help ensure people enter valid data. So it's one of the most commonly used techniques for data validation. And again, this is your uh, sample data set. You select the cells below the department, go to data, click data validation, and select lists. And you want the, the department category to be meat or bakery, click OK. And then very quickly, you'll see that there is a drop-down list, and you can oh. control what can be entered in the cell. So it's a very commonly used technique, and a lot of uh, customers uh, look for And, and for an advanced this. tip, that can actually be dynamic as well. So that yes. list can look up against another list in Excel somewhere. Yes, absolutely. The next one is Analyze. So this is a feature called Quick Analysis in Excel. And with that, you can spot trends and patterns in your data very quickly. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So when you have this data, you select it, and this quick analysis button comes up. You click that, and you can hover over some of these formatting options. And you can see very quickly some trends and patterns yeah. in your data. You can look at some totals, so you can get quick insights. Um, so all you have to do is keep hovering and decide what's the right one for you. Or you can even do charts and get the options for that. And whichever you like uh, as an option for you, you can click it and you get that instantly in your uh, spreadsheet. So it's a very quick way to get quick insights in, uh, on your data set. It's perfect for this template as well. So you're basically learning what's new, and then that one will highlight yet newer features yes. that you can learn about. Yep. And the last one is the pivot tables. So with pivot tables, you can summarize data very quickly. So take this data set here, where you have date, salesperson, product, and amount. In this table, it's very hard to tell uh, which product had the highest sales amount. So that's where you would create a pivot table. So let's go mm -hmm. ahead and do that. Go to Insert, click Pivot Table, and you want to be in the existing worksheet. So click Existing Worksheet and the location. And, and then on the right-hand side, you'll see the Pivot Table Fields pane. Mm -hmm. And then if you select Product, uh, you can see it gets added to the row section, and within the pivot table, it's added as a row label. And then if you click amount, the sum of amount already gets added in the value section, and you uh, see it in the pivot table. So very quickly, you can see for your product, uh, which what's the total sales amount. So this is your first pivot table uh, that you've built. And pivot table is one of the most important features and tools in Excel. And there's tons of things that you can do with it. And you can find more information on our tech community site. I mean, once people start using pivot tables is really when they become advanced users in Excel, which is yes. such a powerful, cool feature. Yes. Thank you. Thanks for sharing that. So we have and we have this one thing on the show um, every month where we ask a PM what is their favorite feature, right? Yeah. You've, you've been a PM in Excel for a long time. And like, what do you think is the coolest thing in Excel that you use every day that makes you productive? So I think this is the best hidden feature of Excel, which is uh, Flash Fill. Yeah. Very easy to use. And I'll show you a demo very quickly. So again, many times you have you know, data set coming in like as, as an email ID. And you want to separate out the first name and the last name. So if I start typing in Nancy and Andy, you can see that mm -hmm. an autocomplete suggestion comes in. And if I just hit Enter, it actually automatically goes and fills in that cell. Oh, it saves um, people so much time. This yes, is crazy. exactly. So what Flash Fill does is it detects when you are typing a consistent pattern, and then it provides the suggestions to fill the cells with. And the other way to invoke Flash Fill is you click here, and then go to Fill, and click Flash Fill, and there you go. Ah. So that's one of my favorite uh, features in Excel. Thanks for joining the show. That was a great tip. Thanks for sharing that. 
thank you for having me here. And we would love for our customers to continue to touch base with us in the community to tell us what they would like to see next, more learning templates or guides or features in the product. We are always there in the community listening to you. And, uh, and so we would love to have you participate more. Thank you. Yeah, great point. So please join us, office.com slash excel slash community. Shangida will be on the community as well, answering questions. I will be there. Um, give us feedback, what you thought of the show and what you would like to see next. Thank you very much.